we are starting a very good afternoon to one and all present thank you for joining us at two weeks online faculty development program on ICT based new paradigms of e teaching and e learning digital pedagogy i miss vijaya goel on behalf of department of computer science mata sundari college for women would like to extend a very warm welcome to all the faculty members ma'am dr kiranjit sethi and the participants of this faculty development program today we have amongst us mr sahil pathak as resource person who have eliminated our mind by sharing his knowledge in the yesterday session we welcome you sir the topic of today's session is google form and google drive we will shortly begin with our session there are a few announcements to be done by our chief coordinator dr kiran ji sethi over to you ma'am yes hello and good afternoon all participants welcome to day 4 of this ftp there are a few announcements to be made i will take them up one by one first is that some part, uh, participants had remarked about day 3's assignment which was about google site which was covered in session 2 so they are all hereby informed that they can refer to day 2 live sessions recording on the web portal refer to it and then attempt their assignments it's on the portal ms.rcmooks.in in second assignments will not be accepted on email please make note of it that assignments will not be accepted on email they should be uploaded on the web portal and there were third thing which i wanted to share with you was there were a few queries regarding day one's live session that its recorded version was not provided so it will be edited let me inform you all that it will be edited and then put on for viewing of the participants and for that i would request all participants to please post topic related queries only on chat box or youtube or discussion forum of the portal only topic related queries should be put there were a few comments which were not concerning the topic and were also not in good taste kindly refrain from doing so as it does not behove the people who are so well educated and in fact are also teaching the younger generation i hope that you will all follow it and thank you so much and now i'll request dr sahil to start his session dr sahil patak thank you very much ma'am and i'm again uh, you know thankful to the mata sundari college uh, for inviting inviting me as a resource person okay so dear participants uh, very good afternoon to all of you as we have met yesterday already so there is no need to uh, no need to have more uh, introduction of me so let's uh, begin our session with google drive and uh, google forms today Uh, in yesterday's session, you have already um, seen that hands-on with uh, Google Docs, and let's see uh, how the Google Drive and uh, Google Forms are useful in our teaching profession, and how can we be, you know, benefited from these uh, services provided by Google. So, first of all, uh, Google Drive is your online, or you can say, cloud-based. storage provided by google where you can store your data okay uh, you can uh, arrange your data you can manage uh, your data in terms of uh, by making folders and uh, you know by naming your folders accordingly okay and folder and then uh, sub folder into it okay so in the similar fashion that you are well versed and uh, that you are used to of uh, having or creating folders in the in in your desktop uh, or your uh, laptop the the way uh, your operating system windows operating system provide you okay so uh, this is uh, the thing that we have to see that how it uh, works on uh, cloud platform provided by google so uh, i 
I have to, you know, share my screen. So can you please let me see the okay? Can you please make me go host? Okay, sure. Okay, it's not coming over here in this. Let me try again. The screen option is not available over here. I don't know why it is so, but uh, let me say, uh, okay, let, let's see. Uh, I show you the tab of, okay. Is it uh, visible to you all? Yes, I, it's visible. Okay. So, uh, you know, as you can see that I am already logged in with my Gmail account. If you are not logged in with your Gmail account, you may first log in with your Gmail account. Okay. And then uh, you can open, you know, uh, you can come to your Gmail account. Okay. And then open your drive. And this another way you can directly open from here. So as of now, I'm, you know, going from my Gmail account and opening the drive from here again go to this google app okay when you are open i'm repeating again when you are open with your uh, gmail account go to google apps and go to this drive option over here so uh, this is you can see uh, you know this is my uh, online you can say or you can say cloud based storage that is the you know uh, provided with my uh, google account this this is you can see it is my private google account okay uh, and it it comes with the 15 gb storage okay you can see over here uh, it is uh, it comes with a free a private google account comes with a 15 gb storage so if i need to you know because you can see uh, you know it is about to fill okay 84 84 uh, percent uh, storage is being full so if you want to buy more you can buy click on buy storage and you can you know buy according as per your need and in case uh, if you are using uh, your uh, g suite account uh, which is your uh, i'll just show you so let me uh, you know show you in my another account so this is my account, which is given by my college. Uh, so I can show you. So again, coming to this Google Drive option. Okay. Yes. Here you can see there is no, uh, you know, limitation of a storage is given to you because it is, uh, you, can, you can say it is, you know, unlimited storage is provided if, when you are using G Suite account. Okay. So it is always suggestible if you need more, uh, you know, space, then you must have registered yourself with your, uh, you know, your institution uh, account given by your institution. Okay. So uh, you may, we may use any, uh, you know, as of now, I can use this uh, account. Uh, my this uh, institution account for uh, discussing this drive option okay so i'm just closing this private one so uh, now uh, this is uh, you know you can see here it is quick access which means whatever the uh, you know uh, work you have you have done recently is coming over here okay and uh, in this here you can see there are folders okay which you have created uh, for your ease uh, the way you want to arrange your uh, files okay 
and then uh, you know if you have not arranged so it could be you know random you can see over here okay so uh, now uh, to arrange uh, your particular files if it is random in the google drive you can either click over here click on new you can create folder okay and then uh, let's say i create a folder with the name um, let's say ramanujan college or let's uh, bsc honors let's say if i want to make some document for my class and whatever the documents which are necessary for uh, you know in the bsc part i can move them okay so you can uh, there is a option when you click right click over here there are option and the, out of this move option will give you so i can move uh, to any folder uh, to which uh, you know i want to move that particular file to so there is not much thing um, you know to discuss because you all are well versed with this thing so just uh, showing you uh, the you know uh, just a gist of uh, google drive so in a uh, new option you can see you can create folder you can upload file you can upload file from your uh, uh, desktop local okay so if you click on upload so your desktop will open you can uh, you know upload whatever file you like so sorry and then oh. uh then uh, you know there is folder option also you can uh, you know in file you can upload uh, either document file a spreadsheet or whatever file you want to upload image file you can directly upload the uh, whole folder also from your desktop and then uh, that these options we have already seen yesterday that you can open your google doc google sheet google slide all the uh, application which are provided uh, by google in g suite are available over here and uh, the rest of application uh, will comes in more so this is what the uh, your uh, new button you can see over here this is my drive option and this is shared with me so if uh, as i already told you that uh, uh, the main advantage of uh, working over this uh, g suite applications is that we can uh, work in collaborative manner so as in yesterday's class we have seen that i had shared my google doc uh, with the dr nidhi so if somebody else have shared some document with me so that would be available in this uh, i can see over here so there are certain uh, documents which are you know you can see which are shared uh, with me okay by somebody else so you can see that vibhash uh, is one of my colleague and have shared certain uh, video files with me this is the recent option you can see uh, again uh, you can follow uh, this button to get the access of your recently uh, working file okay and this is start is uh, nothing but the, there are certain important file that you have mentioned so you can uh, you know start them and that would be available in start okay it is similar to your gmail uh you know when when you email your uh, you star your emails okay so it is similar to that that okay you can also uh, you know if you go to my drive you can also right click over this uh, space any blank space if you you can see over here so you can also create the all the options are available by uh, just right clicking all the same uh, all the option which were available uh, here in the new are also available if you click over uh, right click over here okay so you can uh, access from here also this is something that you can change the view of uh, so i can change to the grid view and uh, you know list view so this you okay, can you can see this is the look and feel you can change from here and uh, there are uh, you know this is support and this is there are certain settings okay in setting option there is one one option that is uh, you know quite can be useful for you which is get drive for desktop okay
so uh, get di drive for desktop basically provides you again the same functionality uh, that i had discussed uh, in the google doc uh, that is when when you want to work offline over uh, a document then you had click uh, that make that particular document uh, you know available for offline but if you want the whole drive to be you know work on offline and whenever you are connected with the uh, with your uh, internet then uh, that would be updated automatically in your actual uh, drive so for that option you can click uh, get drive for desktop okay and uh, so as of now it is already actually installed in my so uh, and to be very frank it is not very much needed uh, as of now okay so uh, if uh, times permit me then i will definitely come to this and uh, will show you how to do it okay uh, but uh, there are certain parts which uh, we need to first see and uh, this is the part that if uh, time permit me then definitely i'll show you okay and there are again you can see you can open any document sheet slide okay calendar anything uh, whatever the application provided by uh, you know uh, google are available here so you can open from here so this is a basic gist of your uh, google drive you can manage in this fashion okay now uh, coming to the google form part so let's uh, open the google form from you know you can we can we can open from here okay either i can right click here and open in from here or i can click over here and uh, click on the new and click on this more and click on this form okay so this is a blank uh, google form is being created so if you want to take a tour you can take but as of now i'm just clicking on no thanks there is one more thing that i'm coming back that i want to show you that if you are creating a google form uh you know opening a google form from your drive so you can uh, you know click on this more and if you click on this arrow if you okay so you, again the, uh, you know you can see there are two option there is blank form and there is uh, from a template so if you are uh, uh, these option are similar to google doc that we have seen yesterday that blank document are for, from a template so uh, for the form also google provide you the templates so we'll uh, you know come to it later uh, the template part uh, as of now we can see uh, you know simply you know the blank form so coming back to this google form part uh, now uh, if we, uh, we we ask for what is the use of google form uh, for teacher and student so basically uh, if i say that we are uh, first first use uh, the main use uh, that could be you know uh, you can make a registration form so um, you know uh, most of you have attended uh, fdps and webinars uh, in the you know previous six months mostly so you have seen the registration forms uh, uh, are basically you know made in this google form only another uh, another uh, use can be you can make a survey you can make quizzes for students you can create uh, some you know uh, any kind of event registration okay and uh, you can have feedbacks okay so uh, now uh, you all you have you all are uh, filling the feedback form for this fdp also uh, i'll show you uh, one of the feedback form that you are uh, and how it is being created so i'll take that example also okay so now uh, basically if we see uh, there are major two portion uh, are in the google form one is the form another is quizzes so uh, we can use uh, you know in any form either it would be a survey form it would be a registration form it would be a feedback form okay so either it would be a form feature or it would be we can make it as a uh, you know quiz feature so uh, first to start with we can uh, give a name uh, to the file of uh, to, to, to this form so for now let's say i name it test testing 
one okay so it would be reflected over here if you want to change this particularly you can change it over here and you can name it uh, like testing one for fdp lecture so you can make the title of this uh, form uh, you can change as per your need you can add certain description about this form that why this form is being created and what this form is uh, you know made for uh, or there are certain other information that you can add in the info, uh, description part uh, like uh, if you want to you know uh, publish some notice kind of thing that uh, you want uh, the participant or you want the students to you know first uh, listen or for first first uh, you know uh, see the those uh, notices before filling up the form so that kind of uh, uh, you know instructions and notices can be put you can put in the description part so i can write this form is for lecture mdp one like this anything okay and then you can uh, add your uh, form question over here. So if you click here, this is untitled question. When you click over here, you can type it, uh, whatever the question you want to ask. So initially there is there are certain basic things uh, that we always need to make sure that when a person is filling a form that there are certain person, uh, you know, basic details that we want uh, so that we can get to know that who has actually filled this uh, particular Google form. So do not, uh, you know, please uh, remember always that uh, you have to ask for certain personal details like name. Now you have seen that once I have written this name, I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't, uh, did, uh, I haven't done anything, but this this went into this short answer type. Okay, so uh, this is the question type that I'm uh, writing over here. I mean, whatever the question I want to ask, and there is a type of question. So you can see over here, there are short answer type, there is paragraph type, there, there can be, this can be multiple choice, can be check boxes, can be a drop down. Uh, there could be a file upload option, then, uh, you know, this linear scale, multiple choice grid, uh, check box grid, date and time. So uh, you can choose this type as per your need, whatever you want to, uh, you know, ask from the participant in your form. So here in this particular first question, I want to ask for the name. Uh, I want the name uh, a participant need to write over here. If you want to make this, uh, uh, you know, this particular field as mandatory field, so you can, uh, you know, on this required option. So it would be, you know, uh, start. So I can show you, uh, let's say I add one more question. Now you can see over the name, there is a star coming over here. It is because, uh, because I, you know, just uh, enable this required option. So if I off this and coming to this, so you can see that there is no star option. That means it is not a mandatory field. It would be an optional, but if you want to make it is mandatory. So uh, always check this. Now uh, you can see, you you can add a certain description for that question also. So you have add the name, so you can add description also. Uh, please write. Sorry. The name as for your, uh, you know, uh, graduation certificate or something. Any description that you want to, uh, you know, associate with the particular question to, you know, to clarify more about that question or you want uh, to be, you know, specify uh, uh, that how, which kind of answer the, uh, a participant should provide. So you can add description for that. Okay. And then 
there is uh, some response validation that I'll uh, show you. This response validation is, uh, okay, you have seen, you know, when you click again, coming to that, are you able to see over here? If you click on these three dots, there are two options available over here when it is a short answer type. So description is coming. So I have, uh, you know, I hope you are, are uh, you know, you all understand the description part. Now the second part is this response validation. This response validation uh, is again an optional thing that either if you want to take this, so you can choose it, otherwise simply you can cross, okay. So for name, and it is a short answer type. So let's say, uh, you know, uh, if anyone want uh, anyone, and you made it mandatory, but you haven't mentioned that it should be what, what kind of, uh, you know, answer you are expecting. For example, anyone can write his mobile number also over here. If he, you know, uh, if he don't follow properly the your question, or if you don't understand properly, so for that uh, to add on, you know, you can add this response validation and you can choose because the name could, could not be a number. Okay, so you can, it can be a text. So we can choose this text. If you want to specify that it should uh, contain particular, uh, you know, uh, particular uh, wordings or particular text. So you can choose over here. Otherwise, uh, you know, you can leave it. And, uh, you know, in just a simple name, uh, we generally do not add, but if I ask you, let's say I add another question, let's say age. So in age, you can see that it automatically comes. This response validation automatically comes because now in the, in the age, but age part, I, it should be a, a specifically should be a number. Okay. So uh, in the number part, you can see that, uh, you know, we, we, have, we have these four options over here in the response validation part. One is number, another one is text, and this length is something that if you want to limit a user to write his answer uh, in a particular length. So, you know, if you choose length, so there could be a maximum character count. For example, if you want to give, uh, you know, maximum character count, character count in name. Okay, you can give. It is as per your need. Whenever, when, when you want. Oh, okay, then only you can uh, add. Okay. Now yeah, you can give minimum character character count or maximum character character count. So here you have to provide the number uh, that how how much maximum current character you you are you allowed you want to allow. So let's say I want to allow for. Uh, let's say 30 characters, we can choose this. And in case if a user, if a you know, participant of this form is not, uh, you know, filling uh, as per the uh, resource validation part mentioned over here, okay, what kind of error message you want to show, you can try it in the custom error text. So this is the text part, which would be, you know, which would uh, turn up when a particular user uh, is entering a value which is not satisfying this response validation, what you have mentioned over here. So you can uh, write anything, let's say, please try again. Maximum length can be 30, okay like this. So uh, for example, let's say institution name, let's say, let me ask for institution name over here. And I add uh, another for another section, which is, let's say, age section, which I had discussed. So in this case, it should be number is a number. Okay, you can see uh, for a number, you have all these options that you can choose from that a number that should be greater than or greater than or equal to less than less than or equal to equal to not equal to between not between so for example between if you want to uh, you know make a form uh, for uh, you know below 60 years okay then you can choose this number between this to this so if anyone is putting his age above 60 then uh, you know it won't accept this form won't 
accept so you can choose uh, in this case as of now if it is if you want to open for all uh, you know no kind of uh, greater than less than type of you can simply choose is an is number okay and then uh, you can write the text in case of any error let's say uh, you know just for while I, i simply please try again a number is required okay so now as of now we have made three sections to this particular form uh, here you can see over here there are uh, there is this color panel which is uh, customized to theme of your uh, uh, your form okay and this is this i uh, icon is basically to have a preview of your google form that how it would be look like to the participant so if you click on this i button so this would be the form you can see this would this is this is this kind of form would will be look like to your participant so let's say let's try to uh, fill this option so let's say i write yes institution name you you probably you have seen that uh, in the institution name uh, there is uh, uh, you know response validation is attached or not i don't know i have to attach okay so let's say i attach this with text or some let's say length and maximum character count let's say 5 uh, okay that is also i make it mandatory and something you have written over it now uh, in the preview section if i try to write uh, institution name greater than 5 so let's say ramanujan college oh, it should not take i think must be okay you can see over here that uh, the uh, now this works that maximum length allowed is and this is the error message what i have written over there okay so you can see in the age part if you try to put uh, some text over here let's say t so then it would be you know again showing you the error so it is asking for a number so let's say it is 32 okay and then you can submit it so this is your preview section uh, so let me close this okay now uh, again coming back to this form so as of now we have seen the basic things of uh, your google form first of all this is your form name this is what your title of the form so you can give title over here this is the description about the form uh, you know that is related to the title for what you are making this form for example if you are making a form for registration call for registration to a fdp program so you can write what this fdp program is all about over here in the description section and then you can ask for general information that you want to collect from the participants and uh, likewise you can uh, you know make your form over here now in this section in this particular part you have seen one one thing that uh, to add more questions you have to click on this plus okay i'll come uh, i'll come to uh, all these section what are these okay before coming to these i'll just show you uh, this part this uh, th there is one more thing that i want to uh, you know make uh, i want to clear that you know there is no need to further save because these are auto save uh, things so all changes saved in your drive so this is automatically saved uh, google will take care of this so you don't need to bother about it okay and then uh, coming to this uh, theme part if you click on this theme you can either uh, this is the header section first you can see you can choose a uh, image for a header so either you can choose let's say Uh, you can uh, these are there are you know certain themes uh, provided by google over here so what kind of theme uh, you, you you can choose from here so let's say if it is uh, some institutional work so you can choose theme from work and school 
So if you want to invite birthday invitation type of uh, Google form, if you want to make, so you can have this birthday birthday theme theme, okay. And uh, you know if there is a certain party, you can choose from here. Wedding, okay. There are you know so many options, sports and game. So any kind of uh, you know you can ask for registration. You can ask for fill the form. Uh, so let's say I choose work and school, and uh, I choose uh, let's say this, and click on this insert. So this image is uh, coming over here. And which is the the header section of uh, your uh, Google form? So it would be look like if I show you in the preview part. So this form will be look like this, okay? And then coming back to uh, the theme options. So this you can change uh, your images. You can upload uh, this. This is you can choose from theme. You can upload it from your local drive. You can browse. So let's say if you want to change it, let's say you choose the university logo, let's say, okay. Probably, uh, you know, the size is not appropriate for this. So it won't appear as actually we wanted. So you have to choose, uh, you know, the image that actually suits uh, this particular size of uh, your header. So as of now, uh, I'm just clearing this and you can choose from photos, okay? So uh, as of now, there is no photos in my account. So that's why it is not showing over here. Otherwise, if you have your, your I mean, if it is my, it is not my private account. So, uh, you know, there is no photo over here because um, I don't uh, share to my official account. So you can choose from here. You can also search, uh, you know, for, for photos from here. So uh, this is how, let's say, I can come back to this header theme. So you can change any photo you can upload over here, okay, as per your, uh, whatever you feel like. Now, uh, this is, you, you have seen that, uh, you know, before it wasn't there, okay. So there, there was, you know, this uh, theme color, okay. If I do, if you don't want to choose, you can simply uncheck this and you can choose any any other theme. So the, the theme section is basically there are two, two things. One is theme color. Theme color is this portion that this color. Okay, you can see I have choose this. So if I change this theme color, let's say this blue one. So automatically this background color is also uh, changed. So uh, this theme color and background colors are quite related. And uh, Google suggests you uh, you know the combination of theme color along with its background color. So if you choose any other theme, let's say this, so automatically the background color will, uh, you know, uh, will change. Okay, you can choose any any of them. Okay, whatever you uh, feel so. Uh, you, again, you can add image, let's say this. Okay, so once you have added the image, uh, you know, there is the default uh, theme options that Google have, uh, you know, choose for you, but definitely it gives you option to uh, change. So you can change accordingly. And let's say this. So like this. So this is just for designing part. Okay. There is a certain font style that you can change from here. So uh, this is decorative style something. So you can you, so testing one for FDP is converted in the Font style is being changed, you can see over here. So you can choose uh, this also, or if you want to choose formal, so it would be this formal style. So it is your choice. So let's say we, we, we choose this decorative, okay, as of now. So this is uh, all about your uh, theme options what are available uh, over here, okay. Now coming to, uh, we have already seen this uh, preview section. Coming back to uh, your uh, form creation part, this is uh, this plus sign is to add questions, add more questions to, if you want to add more questions to this form, you can add by clicking on this plus icon. If you want to import uh, questions from previously created forms, you can do that also. So for example, uh, probably in my drive, let me see if is there any other Google form is being created or not. So I don't think in this particular uh, account it, it is there. 
so let me try if it is there it it will definitely come oh yeah it is coming over here so there are uh, you know certain certificate correction form you know this is coming from the previous fdp so let's say i choose this you can see over here there are certain questions which are being asked in the previous form uh, is uh, are coming over here so we can choose either you want to uh, select all the question if you want to import all the question to this form you can uh, select uh, click on this select all and import questions click on this import questions so there were seven questions uh, those were asked for in the previous form so you can import from there or you can be selective that if you don't want to import uh, you know all the question but uh, certain questions let's say department and institution name so and uh, you know uh, you know email id is very very important that i have i haven't tried over here in this particular form you can see that i have asked uh, as of now name uh, institution name institution name i have also i let me, i i can i do not need this but uh, you know age if you want to ask for email id you can ask for email id or you know let's say contact number okay leave the email id i'll show it you uh, you know in different manner so let's say contact number so if you import this question so this uh, you know question number uh, in a contact number is coming in this part okay again you can uh, choose uh, it should be a number you know response validation if you don't want a response validation so you can simply cross this okay and if you want to add certain description you can again click on this so you can add description uh, about this uh, from here as we have already discussed now coming to uh, the next i think my mouse is some having some problem uh, let us okay give me a moment okay so uh, now this is again add title and description this is at the beginning of uh, that you have already added the title if you want to add the title uh, so it will be you know you can click on this add title and uh, you can uh, you know simply give you know if you want to give in between also okay the major part is uh, you know when the major use of this add title is in the beginning of form when you are uh, you know putting the title of your form and having the description of form but meanwhile uh, you may also need uh, because uh, if you don't want to ask certain thing or certain question but you want to uh, sh uh, you know show certain notices or something uh, which are let's say important note and you can give uh, this in the description part uh, you can uh, you know describe certain things that while filling uh, in this uh, you know form you can you can be you know you be please be remember that this is this this blah blah okay so anything that you can uh, you know add from uh, this uh, title and description part then you can also add images to your google form so uh, let's say i create just a moment i think hmm. let's i create one more question okay uh, you can see that uh, you know the question is being uh, created over here now you can see that i don't want this question to be created over here so i had to see the uh, cursor to this last uh, uh, you know i have to click this and then i have to add question then uh, the next question will be created below below this wherever i click over here let's say i click over here and if i add question so it would be created underneath to this okay now uh, but there is an option that you can drag and move uh, you know just by uh, to this uh, three dot, uh, six dots over here uh, if you click uh, go to here and just uh, you know press the left uh, your left uh, left uh, button from uh, in your mouse and then you can drag it wherever you want to uh, move this particular question okay so let's say this question number is not needed over here so i rearrange this and put it on in the last name it should come let's say i want to put it on the first and let's say now i want now i create 
email id and uh, please be careful email id is very very necessary to ask otherwise you do not have a particular information about the participant that who is actually filling the form because name can have the duplicacy okay so there are there is there should be certain unique information that you need to ask whether it would be it would be a email id or your roll number if you are dealing with a student so uh, you know there are certain things that you need to make sure uh so that when when the form is being circulated and uh, once the response has come you have to uh, you know uh, make sure uh, while creating form that all the responses uh, should be uniquely uh, identified uh, so that you can you know uh, differentiate between them later on so uh, you have to ask for email so if you type simple email keyword over here so you can see uh it is coming uh, this short answer type automatically and there is a suggestion coming over here this is enable email collecting setting enable email collection setting what does uh, this mean i'll show you uh, in the setting part i will show you it is particular i mean it is uh, purely your choice you want to collect email okay uh, if you want to collect email you can click over here okay so now it is saying this form will collect email addresses now uh, you can see where is email part okay uh okay so uh, important note i should written important note thanks this yes. anyway so i'll show it uh, what this uh, that email uh, collection means I, i will show it to you uh, if you want to ask specifically email and don't want that collection to be you can go to this setting okay and here you can see that this collect email addresses okay so if you uncheck this so now your form will not uh, collect email addresses that means uh, you know uh, previous to this if you uh, simply save this uh, you can explicitly collect email addresses either here okay let's say email okay and do not check this option okay and then you can as a short answer you can take it there is one another option uh, you probably will notice uh, when you throw uh, the form publicly that people are uh, you know prone to uh, uh right wrong email ids so what to do uh, that they write the uh, you know right email id so one option this uh, this if you uh, in the setting part if you uh, click on this collect email address so it will in the background uh, it will collect all the email addresses for example uh, if i have uh, you know then uh, no anonymous person can fill this form actually if i click on this collect email addresses then i have to uh, fill this form uh, by with a proper login okay uh, i will show you what i mean by this uh, you know i have to uh, you know fill this form by collect uh, proper login and uh, what is this mean this uh, between this uh, you know checking this and unchecking this so before to that you know uh, i was just saying that uh, whosoever is uh, you know filling this form is uh, uh, probably you know uh, might have and uh, you know probably uh, put an wrong email id so for example let's say in the uh, let's say I, i show you the preview okay so this was uh, my uh, the form of this uh, preview of this form so let's say this was the email and uh, somebody is writing a b c at gmail okay let's say this so uh, now uh, this form will accept it okay but uh, you know this is not the way to write the email address and when you want to apply you when you want to when you collect these these email addresses okay so this will this will not give you the proper uh, information of your email participant email address so you can do certain check over this uh, when when you are taking certain uh, you know fields over here uh, 
for example, if we email, so now uh, we can add the response validation. In the response valid validation part, you can choose text. And in this text, you can choose this email address. And now this uh, email address will automatically, uh, you know, uh, take care of that uh, the participant is writing a correct email address. Now, and in case of error, again, you can uh, write some messages. Please put correct, or please write, write correct email address. Okay. And uh, let make it required field, mandatory field. I made it. And let's say I, again coming to this uh, preview section. Okay. So now you can see it becomes mandatory field. A star is coming over here in the email section. Now if I if the user is writing abc at gmail. Okay. And then uh, coming to this next question. So it is showing up. Please write the correct email. Okay, so uh, you know it can be there can be a typo error. It is not always that uh, any user uh, is intentionally you know writing a wrong email ID. Nobody want to, but uh, you know there is a certain typo error that uh, people made actually. So uh, in fact, uh, when I ask you for uh, you know probably in this FTP program also we are going to ask you for filling up uh, a certification form, a certification detail form. You know. Uh, you know when the committee decides okay probably uh, within the next two days uh, so uh, you know in that case we have seen uh, as per our experience that uh, participant have mentioned the wrong email ids so there are certain uh, you know there are certain things that we cannot take care of for example if you write the let's say gamil.com Okay, there is no gamil.com. Okay, this kind of uh, certain, uh, uh, this kind of error, you know, there is no option to uh, take care in this uh, particular Google form option when, when we are, uh, you know, taking responses from the participants. And we have to, you know, that's why, you know, certain problem comes to the participant that uh, we don't receive certain, uh, you know, certificate and all. And the actual thing is, uh, when they have, uh, you know, mentioned the, uh, email, they have mentioned the wrong email ID in the uh, Google form when we ask for. So, uh, to be very frank, you know, the, this option we cannot be, you know, uh, we are, you know, unable to do it in the Google form. There is another part that I want to show you. Coming back to your form. So uh, you have seen that I have add this response validation uh, for this email part. I can also, there is one more section. Uh, this, we had discussed the number, we had discussed the text, we had discussed, discussed the length part also, okay. There is one more, uh, this regular expression thing, okay. And this is something technical term uh, of computer science. Uh, regular expression is again, uh, you know, just an expression to define your pattern. Okay, so uh, you can see that there is a particular pattern of uh, email addresses. For example, before at the rate, there can be a letter or there can be a number allowed. When you have created your email IDs, there is a certain pattern that you have created, which actually, uh, you know, any email provider uh, ask you for to generate email ID and then uh, at the rate and then the some domain name uh, of that provider comes for example gmail and then there is a dot comes over here and after dot uh, there is com okay co dot in like this it comes and in case of uh, your uh, you know uh, like a G Suite account, for example, my G Suite account, let's say at the after, after and at the rate ramanujan.du.ac.in. Okay, so there would be so many dots in that case. So that's why if we are, you know, we, we have to be taken care, uh, you know, we have to be cautious about uh, if we, you know, write, uh, you know, what kind of response validation we are actually putting over here. So uh, in the rest, either, you know, you can put uh, this simple for, uh, you know, for, for email, you can choose text 
and you can uh, choose this uh, you know email address and you can uh, you know put some error message and in that case uh, uh, if we let's say if i try to write okay so you can see that these all uh, are being uh, taken care by google okay so if you simply choose text uh, and uh, you know this would be a valid email address it it will take valid email address so i was just uh, talking about the regular expression so uh, you know this email and uh, the email which i have written previously all these email have a certain kind of pattern that there is certain at the rate and there is there would be certain uh, you know characters and letters uh, before to this at the rate and uh, you know after uh, this at the rate and there can be more than one dot possible and in between dot there cannot be two dots simultaneously such kind of you know these are, these can be the rule so you can uh, you know you do not need to uh, go into detail of this regular expression things but if you want to add if you if there is a need you can simply google it so let's say you can also uh, search for regular expression for email okay it's coming over here so you can see this is the regular expression for uh, uh, you know for uh, your email so you can simply copy it okay so don't go in the, into the technicality of uh, this regular expression part and uh, you have to specify pattern over here so regular expression choose uh, you have choose the regular expression and the, that contains doesn't contain or something you have to uh, you know, think about it you know you have to be careful uh, while choosing this and you can simply uh, paste the pattern over here and in case of error message you can write it over here okay and then again you can uh, you know see reload uh now in this email if i write again abc at gmail let's say so yeah must match the pattern it is showing saying must match the pattern so in this case uh, you know i have given a particular pattern which is uh, which we call the regular expression okay so if a particular string uh, input string coming over here has the pattern suggested over here okay then only uh, it will allow otherwise it won't take the value uh, okay from here so that is what uh, all these uh, you know in the response validation part all these fields are uh, you know related to this so i think this is enough and the rest of things you have to explore by your own i think we can move uh, to the next uh, portion and uh, which is uh, i was discussing that uh, add question we had discussed we can we had import uh, questions from here this is to add the title and description now if you want to add certain image so uh, let's say um, you want to add certain image for this question okay so uh, here you can see uh, there is there are two options coming over here so one one option is if you want to put the image in the question part so let's say if you are if you want to ask something about uh, uh, you know image uh, for example let's say you you can show a image of taj mahal and you can you can ask that uh, the picture shown in uh, you know you know the 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 sculpture shown shown in the picture is made by or you know in in which year or something okay so you can choose either if you want to put the image or uh, let's say I, i show you uh, when you can upload let's say this it's always i'm so sorry but it is just opening always delhi university logo so so delhi university logo is coming over here uh, now you can ask given consider the uh, consider the image below which university logo is this so certain kind of thing you know uh, you you need uh, you know if you need uh, to add image in the question part you can add like this uh, can you can add more image over here 
let's say you can you, you know, there are multiple option you can have the camera option okay if you want to click over uh, on the camera okay by url you can specify the particular url of image okay you can choose from photos you can choose from your google drive okay and uh, you can uh, this is very uh, you know good option that this uh, google image search so this is uh, this allows you uh, to search over this platform only okay you do not need to explicitly search uh, uh, you know somewhere else uh, or you can say in the new tab okay so there is no need if you simply click on this google image search and you can search uh, certain image for for example let's say taj mahal and you can see the pictures are coming and you can choose any picture okay and you can insert <clears throat> oh my goodness okay so you can see this taj mahal picture uh, was was quite large actually so you can uh, say, you know click on this and you know there is option to you know make it small like this you can do so you can ask certain question okay so in this manner you can you know uh, add images ch changes images over, coming over here okay uh, there is uh, these there are three options to you know uh, do certain uh, uh, you know settings with this uh, image if it it can be left align center align okay let's say it may, may we make it center align so this is coming in the center okay we can change it remove it on you can if you want to add certain caption for this image okay you can add uh <clears throat> let's see seven wonders one of seven wonders any any caption you want if you want to add even it is it is choice okay if you want to add you can so that's the thing so there is one thing that you can add images to the question part okay there is another thing that you have also seen that uh, you know there can be certain kind of question Uh, uh you know in which we we want um, uh the participant to select an image for answer okay so let's say uh, uh, you know in in between the following uh, images which is uh, which image is uh, the delhi university logo okay certain kind of thing so if if we want to add certain kind of question so again uh, you know click on the question okay so which is delhi university logo and this time i don't want to uh, put image for uh, in the question part but i want to put image in the options part so i can add and i can upload okay so one option could be this okay so one option uh, coming over here this and if you want to add more options uh, you can you have to neither click over here you have to click at this part okay so uh, if you click for option 2 again you can add a uh, different image let's say this time this okay so you can see and uh, if you want to take a preview of this uh, we can see the preview part okay so uh, let's see how it would be look like to the participant so this would be uh, you know the image what we have added in the question part and these are the you know option 1 option 2 you can write a b c d n also you know in in replacement of uh, option 1 option 2 so you can see uh, if you want to change so you can write option a option b okay and so on and uh, see so you can see it is automatically saving but uh, you have to see if you want to see the preview click on the preview part so you can see there is option a b coming over here so this is how you can uh, you know uh, make your form uh, now let's see what are the remaining part okay now we have seen of uh, adding images uh, you can also add image from here okay uh, so let's say i create another question and we can add image from here uh, now this is the same you can add okay again let's say this time i add 
nothing i have except this <laughs> so i have to add let's say this one okay in the similar fashion you can see okay this uh, you can put the image title over here okay if you want to make uh, you know a copy of a particular question there is option of making duplicate from here you can see uh, you know we have created uh, you know many questions over here it is not always necessary that i have to add questions by clicking over this plus sign uh, if you want to add you know similar kind of question uh, to the previous question for example uh, if i want to ask for uh, you know contact number and if i am if i am asking for roll number okay so uh, for roll number and contact number more or less both are same except this uh, caption part okay so i can simply copy let's say uh, this uh, you know i click on this and there is a the option of uh, clicking this duplicate and if you click on this duplicate so you can see this is contact number and another uh, question is created with the contact number now you can edit this by you know roll number okay and once you have written the roll number you can see uh, that uh, the response validation is, has come and now you can put a particular length of uh, length limit let's say uh, a user Uh, you do not want uh, you know because you have defined that there would be a uh, 10 digit roll number in your university so uh, you know you want to restrict the participant or you, the students to you know uh, write the roll number uh, you know you know do not should should not exceed from uh, you know count of 10 so you can put and you can put number 10 okay like this in case of error or uh, you can write uh, exact Uh, you know please please write uh, correct roll number like this now the uh, coming to the next part uh, this is another part which is to add videos now if you let's say we create another uh, another question and we'll show you to add video over here over there so uh, if i click over here and if you want to click uh, you know add below to this you you can add here, over here and you can click on this add videos you can uh, you know youtube you can provide a youtube search or you can directly give a url if you already have uh, for example uh, if you want to discuss certain uh, you know if you made a certain questionnaire for uh, your students you can add certain educational video uh, related to that particular topic for example let's say uh, if i uh, ask for uh, computer network So let's add let's search for computer network video it is a simple youtube search you can you know you can scroll down and you can add any uh, basic video let's say computer network one i add this and simply click on this select so this uh, video will be added over over here okay and uh, you can give a title or uh, you know anything so let's uh, preview this how it would be look like to the participant okay so uh, because i haven't given any name so it is coming directly otherwise uh, you know some name should be coming over here so you can play uh, this video so as of now it is not uh, you know uh, available to work on uh, work over here so i choose video and available was this video on youtube probably it is not uh, we, the website has been disabled uh, by the owner okay so uh, he he probably have disabled this thing so you can choose any other video just one thing uh, you know uh, we want to say uh, over here as an educator please do not put uh, the private videos kind of thing and uh, you know only put the content uh, which is uh, you know available though uh, we all uh, use uh, only those videos which are available for you know freely available for educational purpose but uh, you know we need to be take care of such things okay so majorly you know it uh, doesn't happen uh, that uh, you know uh, anyone claim for that uh, 
but if you are using for certain your private business purpose let's say okay uh, because you can make your google form not only for educational purpose you can make it for your private reason also so in that case please be careful in educational most of the videos are you know free otherwise the owner of that video have already made that video you know uh, uh, restricted okay so that is one thing that uh, i just uh, wanted you to be you know careful about and uh, now this is the last part of this is this ad section so you can uh, you can see uh, in the beginning this is there is no section uh, you know there is single section so you can see from here this whole uh, you know for whole form is having a single section there is no multiple sections i have made over here so if you want to made multiple sections so you can uh, you know and you can click and uh, now you can see that there is uh, another section is coming okay so uh, now this would be your section number 1 you can see uh, here okay there are total two sections now because i have added one more sections okay now uh, this is the section number 1 and the new section is coming over here the benefit of section is uh, uh, you know uh, if you if you do not want anyone uh, to you know i mean this this is something uh, you know to customize your google form uh, that how you want the google form to be you know shown to the participants uh, one one thing is that and there is another thing is uh, if you uh, want up, you know uh, that after a particular question for example let's say if you want to ask a question uh, that uh, whether you are uh, 2017 batch or uh, you know previous to that batch so probably you ha you you have created a, a google form uh, that is different for uh, the students uh, which are previous enrolled previous to 2017 batch uh, sorry previous to 2017 and uh, probably uh, you have certain different kind of questionnaires uh, which are uh, you which you have selected for uh, you know after 2017 batch so for to segregate in the same same form uh, how to do that you can section that particular thing and uh, you know uh, there is you can see over here that after section 1 continue to next next section okay and uh, you can give a choice that after after section 1 let's say i i add one more uh, section over here so now there are total three section so you can continue to any go to section 3 go to section 2 go to section 1 okay you can uh, you know uh, provide any uh, logical movements between uh, the sections okay so it is something basically your uh, you, this is called in technical term it is called this uh, logical branching of uh, your google form okay so uh, you can uh, add sections uh, like this so let's say uh, in the section 1 we have added certain part and now uh, we want to add uh, you know let's say different title for example let's say uh, this section was something uh, related to the introduction and let's say this second section you made for some let's say subject if your subject is chemistry okay chemistry uh, anything okay i am not uh, not getting into it okay so you can write chemistry and give description you can add certain question over here so let's say question number 1 uh what is bonding chemical bonding anything so i am just writing uh, you know uh, i am just writing a random question so please bear with me and uh, you may have uh, you know your own questions okay so just to show you the preview and let's say uh, add to add one more question to this uh, section 3 i name it section 3 only and add question to this some let's say i match the following oh one more thing i i, I simply want to show you i i just show you over here so let's say uh, google also provide certain suggestions so if you ask for do you believe 
so you can see uh, you know before writing uh, you know uh, the suggestions are coming yes and no maybe so i haven't even added any option to uh, you know uh, this but it it just read uh, the question type and uh, it uh, gives you the suggestion so uh, here it is something uh, the technology that google use uh, it uses the neural network over here and uh, you know based on the previous uh, uh, field form okay uh, it has learned and uses the machine learning part over here and uh, uh, so you know the basic thing is uh, it gives the suggestion for certain questions or certain type of questions so if you write, uh, write like uh, question do you uh, do you believe in god or something let's say do you believe in god so probably uh, you know yes no or if you want to add all you can click add all so as a option part it is coming over here yes no and maybe all the option if you want to add more options okay none of these or sometime okay anything so uh, you want to add you can add like this now let's have a preview of this so this is the section 1 which is uh, for, you know in the beginning uh, that this would be the available okay and there would be next button you can see here okay this next button is automatically come when you have created more than one section otherwise previously you have seen there was a submit button okay but you can see because uh, you know there are more sections uh, uh, here and i have uh, you know uh, if i fill all these questions there are certain questions uh, to be left so this next button if you click on this next okay and then uh, okay first you need to fill this uh, all these things uh, so because i made uh, certain uh, mandatory fields so let's say i choose this and let's say i choose this this is also let's say okay i don't know whether i put the number limitation because the contact number is generally the 10 uh, in size okay so let's say i i, I put it trip 9999 only so here it uh, i should have you know while making the form i should have what should i i have uh, you know uh, to be you know added that should there should be a response validation in the uh, in that part in the contact part you can see so in the contact number uh, i should add the response validation and response the validation should be the length okay and the maximum current count should be uh, minimum minimum 10 okay not the maximum one the mid, but the minimum max, minimum correct character count should be 10 for a, a contact number to be because we want uh, we are asking for mobile number okay not the landline number and all so uh, you know uh, you can write contact number in in place of contact number you can ask for mobile number or whatever so until unless if i write 10 over uh, you know i specify 10 and let's say in the preview section now i have to you know the form is reloaded and this the institution name then contact number let's say if i put it triple nine only then must be at least 10 characters so i have to write at least 10 numbers okay so this is uh, you know how many it is that nine i think one more okay so now it is 10 so uh, is fine now this roll number uh, roll number again i have uh, given certain maximum count for this roll number that is the 10 count i have given uh this is coming let's say nothing these are not mandatory so i can leave it okay so and coming to click on next now uh, you know you can see this is the section 2 which was the chemistry section okay and again if you click on next you will we move to the section 3 and click over here and then finally the submit option is coming over here so now in this particular case i have not uh, given a particular logical branching but i, I have simplified uh, you know a form into three different sections okay 
that one section will be coming at a time and then second section will come and then the last and you know the further sections would will come but there is a uh, provision of uh, you know we can provide the logical branching in this case also and to add the logical branching for example let's say uh, for roll number i can add the logical branching let's say i want to create uh, a you know form that means that uh, roll number 1 to 10 should you know uh, if if you know should fill the section 1 or rest of the uh, you move to the section 2 so i can uh, put the logical branching over here okay because so then i have to uh, you know provide a section uh, over here you can see uh, at the last uh, in the when when i have created the section whenever you have created a section whenever you need uh, that you need to uh, you know as uh, need a separation then you have to uh, create a section so for example after this video oh, okay i have added uh, you know uh, this uh, i have separated the section so there is uh, you know there is option you can see if you click over here it is simply by default it was chosen that continue to next section but i have a choice that where i want to uh, you know choose okay so i can uh, you know either choose uh, uh, continue to next then the next option will come i can choose continue uh, you know go to section 3 okay so if i choose this so after this section only after section 1 go to section 3 okay so in this particular case there would uh, you know it won't come to this uh, section 2 part and this is what the logical branching is that you decide uh, logically that where uh, you want to move in in a particular input case okay so you can directly give a submit okay so let's say if i ask uh, uh, if, let's say if i add uh, a question in the in this uh, part first section okay and this uh, in the first section uh, did you understand the topic let's say i created one question and again uh, it is giving me suggestion i am choosing the suggestion so uh, let's say i don't want maybe i want yes and no okay so probably you have seen i agree and i do not agree type of okay so we can add uh, the i agree i do not you know so uh, that kind of question we can add uh, now in this particular case if you uh, you know if you click on yes you want to move uh, you want to submit okay but if uh, you uh, you you know if you click on no you want to move uh, you know somewhere else so for that uh, you know for question based uh, sectioning or logically logical uh, branching what you need to uh, do you need to click on this uh, three dots over here you can see previously it was coming over there only description and then response validator okay but in this case there is no response validation is required so it is this option is automatically is not coming but you can see over here there is that uh, the option is coming go to section based on answer okay so this is very important that, uh, for example uh, you want to branch if a user or part, uh, participant uh, uh, you know answer this yes then you want to move that particular um, you know uh, user to move to the section 2 but if you click on no then you want uh, him to move to the section 3 okay so you can do uh, in this manner also and let's say if uh, there is third option uh, you can also add uh, something for that maybe uh, in in case of maybe okay you can add something else so uh, let's say we will see that so go to section based on answer now you have to provide if if a user uh, or if a you know uh, if a, a participant or if a student uh, click on the yes uh, answer okay then what you want to uh, action what would be your action what you want to so in case of uh, uh, yes i want to move to the section 3 in case of no i want uh, the participant to move to section 2 in case of maybe i simply say okay submit the form okay so this is uh, something the logical branching uh, that we can add uh, here 
and uh, now uh, we can show you how it works actually now you can see over here that uh, this is the you know in the i have to fill there are certain required field okay i have to fill it first uh, i just fill it fast Okay. Now you can see as of now it is coming next over here, but if I choose yes, okay, and click on next. So uh, you have to see carefully where uh, we, to which section I am moving. So uh, you can see over here I had choose uh, the if you, if a participant click on yes, uh, it should it must go to uh, section three. Previous to that, when I have uh, I have not given these choice, so if I click on next, it will automatically move to the section two. Okay, so but now if I click on uh, next, so you can see it is coming in the section three part. So coming back, and uh, you can see if I click uh, no, then it should come on the section two. Okay, so this chemistry was the section two. Okay, and then if I add, uh, if I click on maybe. Okay, if I click on next, then it will uh, take me to the submit. Okay, so click submit to finish. So this is how you can, you know, uh, do the logical branching thing. And there are, uh, you know, uh, uh, certain things that, uh, you know, I want you to, you know, uh, discuss with. So this is something that how, what, what type of question that I have already shown you that uh, we have seen that short answer type is for, uh, you know, if uh, there is a, uh, you know, very brief answer you want, like you want to write only name, okay, uh, you know, for the name or whatever. And if you want something that uh, tell me about uh, yourself kind of question, so you can choose this paragraph, okay. So let's say uh, you add a question, tell me about, yourself you can add you, okay it automatically coming to paragraph okay so it is a long answer type okay and then uh, you can uh, if you want to add some response validation you can add that if you want to give the length okay so uh, length or regular expression uh, there are only two option are coming in case of uh, when you are choosing this paragraph so we can choose length and uh, let's say 300 count character, maximum character count would be 300. So uh, we can mention over here. In case of uh, error, you can put message that uh, please write within 300 character. And here in question also, okay, you can write that uh, the maximum limit uh, is 300 character like this. So you can add this paragraph and then there is an option to add multiple choice question you can click on this multiple choice uh, option and uh, you can choose option A, let's say then option B, option C and D. So it would be a multiple choice kind of thing. Okay. As of now, this is a form, okay? Uh, we haven't made it quiz, okay? But what is the difference that I initially told you that this is a form thing and if you want to make this form into, you, you know, convert this form into quiz, I'll show it to you. A little later, uh, you know, if we click on this multiple choice and there is there are check boxes option also. So it's better because we have time limitation is already 4.30. Uh, so I'll show you the, some previously made form, uh, you know, directly. Uh, so let's say I open my Gmail account. So let's say I show you this uh, details of certificate and then what was feedback. So let's say this is the day one feedback. Let me show you. Okay. So you can see this is the uh, day one feedback uh, that we have received. received. 
okay and we have received uh, 1009 responses so uh, it is being made uh, you can see we have uh, you know collected this email address and uh, uh, yeah this is the thing that uh, uh, i just wanted to show you this is a long answer type uh, you have seen this is a multiple cho multiple choice kind of uh, question okay and uh, then there here it is you can see this is a multiple grid choice so you can see there there were option uh, the short answer type then paragraph type then multiple choice and then uh, you know in the check boxes uh, like it is uh, similar to multiple uh, choice but in the multiple choice uh, the answer uh, you know you can choose only one answer but if you create a check box you can you know check more than one answers so that is uh, you know uh, the check box if you create you can also create the drop down i hope we have created somewhat here okay uh, in this uh, let me see no i i don't think so in this particular uh, uh, form we have created this drop down i'll show you okay don't worry so anyway this is the multiple uh, you know multiple the choice grid type of uh, question uh, if you want to add and uh, how it would be look like to you it would be look like uh, like this that subject knowledge uh, if you want to grade out of this okay uh, one to five uh, so this type of question uh, you have already filled so that's why i'm showing it to you so if you want to create similar kind of question uh, related to that uh, you know so i i just wanted to show that it can be created using this multiple choice grid and in the multiple choice grid you in the row part and in the uh, column part you have to uh, give in the column uh, whatever you want to write over here for example if i write uh, something uh, you know x y z or a b c okay i can uh, anything okay and in the subject knowledge okay in the place of subject knowledge if you are uh, you know you you want to change anything uh, you can change over here if you want to add more rows you can add from here if you add columns you can add okay so uh, it would be a matrix form uh, you can see uh this will become number of rows over here and number of columns over here so you can uh, choose how many number of columns you want and how many rows you want and so if a question is uh, you want to ask that is uh, um, you know um, matrix type of question and uh, kind of thing so uh, in this particular case you have to choose this option and uh, you can also uh, you know choose for uh, i come back to this previous thank my mouse is not properly working okay yes it is coming so uh, let's say if i want to add a particular question let's say add one more question now this can uh, we can add as a linear scale type of question and uh, this linear scale could be you know a range okay you have seen this in this multiple uh, you know multiple choice grid where we have uh, we have asked for uh, you know certain number of things for example subject knowledge and the content of uh, the uh, lecture and all you know so, so many things we, we have asked if we want to ask Uh, only one thing that uh, what was the temperature uh, yesterday let's say anything and you want to grade it uh, you know low to high okay so you, uh, and you can provide it uh, you know minimum uh, 0 to 1 0 or 1 so i i simply put it 1 over here and maximum raise you can any you can uh, you know give 5 6 whatever so let's i give it 10 uh, and uh, you know it is in the label uh, with one we can write low and with you know 10 i can write high okay now let's see uh, how it works uh, you know if i preview this part yes you can see over here the, okay so uh, now you have to choose a between low to high okay where we want to you know rate okay you can rating yourself okay if you want to rate something rate kind of question if you provide rating 
so 10 rating 5 rating okay 4 rating whatever okay so you can provide for such type of question you can choose this uh, linear uh, linear grid option uh, what was actually linear linear scale option okay so uh, we have seen this linear scale option we have seen this multiple choice grid option uh, we can uh, you know have option of file upload so probably uh, while filling of uh, you know fdp forms uh, you have seen that uh, they are asking for some payment image to upload okay for not for this fdp but uh, most of participants have at, have attended the other fdps okay where in the google form itself they want payment slip to be attached okay for that kind of thing or if you want to uh, you know uh, if you are making a questionnaire for a student so for that kind of thing if you want to add okay uh, then you can add image okay so let's say uh, in case of fdp you can ask for payment slip or uh, so let me show you how it should be added you can click on this file upload okay and uh, it asks for continue uh, some permission so let's uh, because it will be uploaded to your drive okay and then you have to uh, you know there are certain things if you want to allow only specific type of files for example pdf or doc file type of or any image file uh, you know so you can choose among them okay so you do you do not want a video to be uploaded you only want image and a pdf okay only these two uh, you want to allow so you can click on these options okay and there is uh, uh, you know a limit of maximum number of files so uh, how many uh, number of files that he can add so you can simply choose 1 5 10 whatever okay and then this is the maximum file size you have seen that uh, you can give uh, a particular file size of uh, you know uh, 1 mb 10 mb okay don't uh, have this uh, 1 gb and 10 gb because uh, you do not have that much space if, in your drive okay uh, if you are uh, you know and there is no need of uploading a file which is of 10 gb size so in general you have to choose between 1 10 gb 10 and 10 mb and that is sufficient sometime you can choose for you know heavy images uh, we can choose 100 mb file okay so that would be sufficient uh, and uh, now you can uh, see this form can it is written over here this form can accept up to 1 gb of files okay so we can change because uh, you know in this uh, here in the setting part uh, it is coming over here maximum size of all files uploaded so you can click over here and you can choose uh, 1 gb 10 gb 100 gb 1 tb okay but uh, to be uh, you know just want to clear to you because i'm using this my uh, you know g suite account that is why uh, this size limit is coming over here but in case of uh, you know private uh, gmail account you have a limitation of size you don't have this much 100 gb or 1 tb of size so uh, you you don't have a choice in in when you are making a private uh, you know make, making a google form with your private gmail account so in that case you need to be uh, you know limited with the size so in this case you can choose 10 gb let's say and cross the setting okay so for this either you click over here or you can go to this setting part in this setting also there are certain uh, settings which are available uh, now uh, before coming to this setting part uh, i'll just show you this is this was the maximum uh, file size uh, of all files uh, okay i was just showing you so just uh, you know uh, i simply show you quickly uh, the preview of this so you can make it mandatory from here okay and if you want to add certain description you can add certain description for this that uh, this image should be this and there should be the transaction number and call, all certain things that you can add in the description part now if it so look the preview of this particular what happened if you click on this preview okay so you can see okay it was added i think in the last section oh it is asking for certain okay let me you know just for 
the sake of doing it fast i am not making it mandatory but uh, you may you may mandatory uh, you know for your forms okay so in the section 3 i have uh, you know asked for the payment image uh, upload so yes so here i can this is the section 1 it is showing and uh, this was the you know my, where i had uh, you know uh, add the some uh, logic branching uh, in this particular question i have added so based on this answer this logic branch will come so if i click on yes it will move to me move me to this section 3 and in the section 3 uh, there is a option of this uh, add file so you can upload the image from here and you can select from drive you can select from your uh, uh, you know you can upload from your local computer you can select from drive okay like this and there is uh, if you try to add uh, uh, you know any other file which is having the extension uh, except for from dot doc or dot uh, docx or dot uh, pdf if you want to add the another file it won't accept it okay it will show an message okay so uh, this is this is what the uh, you know your uh, image at uh, you know file upload part okay so we have seen in the uh, you know type of question short answer type paragraph multiple choice check boxes drop down file upload linear scale multiple choice grid we have seen and uh, there is another option of uh, you know check box grid uh, in this check box grid you can uh, we can see let's say add one question let's say question 1 and choose here uh, this check box grid so you can you know choose certain values for row and column so as of now i'm just showing you just to show you there uh, in this previous case it was here it is check boxes now okay in in this uh, previous to that uh, you know in the multiple choice grid okay both are the grids but in this case the grid is uh, basically the multiple choice type while in this particular case the choice uh, grid would be the check box type so probably in this feedback form you can see that this is a multiple choice type of grid okay and you can see that there are bubbles okay and out of uh, these bubbles you can uh, you know select any one but uh, you know there is uh, if you add if you change this to you know check box grid type so you know you can fill more than one option uh, so you have to be careful about uh, you know uh, that what kind of uh, question you want to ask so for this particular question uh, actually uh, the multiple choice grid suits better uh, but if you choose this so uh, you know you can select uh, more than one okay in this particular case so uh, as of now i have to change because this is a live uh, in a uh, google form so i i made it this one okay so uh, this is what about this uh, checkbox grid you can also add uh, uh, date for example if you want to ask for a question uh, which is related to date of birth or anything the date of admission or something so you can ask for uh, you know you can add date over there and you can see uh, here the calendar is being added you can ask the question okay birth date and you can make it mandatory or whatever okay and uh, here you can uh, you know uh, also include if you want to include year and you also if you also uh, want to include time okay you can also include this okay but uh, as of now i am not including this for date of birth uh, the date and year is uh, enough so this is what uh, you know the basic functionality of uh, okay let me show you the preview of this quickly okay sorry uh, coming back uh, i'll i'll come to this part so showing you the preview okay so it was your birth date type of question and you can you know the calendar is coming you can choose uh, the calendar uh, you know birth date from here okay 
so this is all about the different type of questionnaires you can add to your uh, uh, google form now uh, there was uh, one thing that i have initially uh, told you about that uh, it can be you know you can uh, with the help of google form it can be a general form okay a survey form or uh, you know a registration form feedback form that kind of form or it can be a questionnaire uh, a quizzes type of thing so if you want to make this as quizzes type so go to this setting part and these are the general settings okay that we have uh, seen uh, i just repeat it again to collect the email address it will collect the email addresses uh, in the background okay even if you have not uh, you know selected the uh, email uh, you know explicitly if you have not asked the email addresses in your uh, uh, you know in your google form if you check this box on it will uh, you know uh, in the hidden way it will collect the email addresses of the participant okay and here you can restrict uh, you know uh, there are certain uh, uh, settings that uh, if you check uh, check this on then restrict to the users in ramanujan college and it is trusted organization so uh, uh, like if you check this uh, button on okay then only uh, email id is from the ramanujan college that is at the rate ramanujan.du.ac.in so uh, for a particular uh, you know institution if i want to ask certain uh, if, if you if i throw a particular google form for a particular institution so then i can check this otherwise i have to you know uh, check this out okay so don't check this if you are publicly throwing uh, otherwise you know they are not be able to fill this form and you can check this if you want to limit the participant to limit, uh, you know up to one response okay then uh, you have to check this otherwise uh, you know uh, then uh, otherwise you uh, the participant can uh, fill the form more than one time okay so uh, if you are making uh, this form as quiz so please be careful that you have to limit uh, to one response otherwise uh, you know a student will get to know that one time they have answered something and then later on they find out that it was wrong and then they correct it uh, again and then again fill the form so you know they can uh, don't allow them to multiple uh, time filling uh, if uh, you know it is a quiz type of thing quiz type of form so in this particular case uh, you can choose but the if you check this then there would be a limitation come that the respondent will be required to sign into google so he must have to uh, you know uh, though google form can be filled by any uh, you know anonymous user but if you check this option uh, on uh, then uh, you know he has to uh, sign in with the google account first okay and you can uh, you know uh, check these uh, options if you want uh, the you know uh, if you allow you want to allow a user to edit after submit if you have already submit the form even then if you want uh, allow if uh, you can uh, give access to allow them to edit the form and uh, I, the respondent or the participant can see the summary chart and text responses if you allow them then click on the check you can check this this is we have already seen because we have uploaded a file so you uh, you can give a size so these are this is what the part in general setting then in the presentation setting uh, you can uh, you know uh, add this progress bar progress bar is something that uh, you can see that i have uh, how much i have uh, you know uh, completed the form so the participant will be shown a progress bar over there for example if i uh, check this on and let's say save this setting okay and click on this preview and uh, if a user uh, you know write something uh, you know let's say on coming back to this uh, option one on. okay and then let's see yes click on next okay this is a pattern Oh, 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 I, I almost forgot to show you. Okay, you can see over here, over there, uh, there is a progress bar. In the, you can see in the below, there is a progress bar coming that uh, you have filled only page one of three. There are total three number of pages. And as of now, you have completed page number one. 
So you can click and now I'm coming to the page number of three. So this is what your progress bar is. You can check from setting, okay. And then the important thing uh, comes over here. And then this is, uh, okay, this is another part. This is shuffle question order. Okay, so this is uh, you know useful when you want to make a Google form in the quiz. Uh, okay, convert the Google form into quiz. Then you 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 must have checked this option so that uh, you know the answer whatever you choose would be the answer. But uh, you know uh, to different participant uh, it could be in shuffled manner. Okay, so you know to avoid the cheating of uh, simply or uh, you you have to do this. And uh, you can show link to submit another response. Okay, if you want to click, then there would be a link uh, that the user can, you know, uh, submit another response. This is the most important, and uh, I mean the quite important thing that I want to uh, show you that as of now, this make this a, a quiz is uh, you know uh, is not uh, is not on is off. So that is why this form is a, a form type. Otherwise, if I make this on, this would become a questionnaire type. Okay. Now this becomes a question. That means now I have a choice that I can give, uh, you know, answer to. So let me save this first, and I'll show you. So now these are the basic details. So there is no need to add, uh, you know, answer for that. But for example, let's say I, I, this is a particular question. So what would be the correct answer? Now you can see just well, uh, as soon as I made uh, this uh, form into quiz. Now there is an option of answer is coming. So you can give by clicking answer over here and you can give point, how many point of uh, to this question, let's say two, two number uh, I have given and you can write the correct answer. Okay, which is Delhi University logo. So I click over here and this is the correct answer and uh, you can click on done. Okay, so now, uh, you know, uh, let's see the preview of this. So if it is a quiz type, uh, you can see over here, it is a two marks question. You can see over here, it is coming over here. This is a two marks question. And the correct answer, if a user select, let's say this one. So uh, this is a wrong answer and this is the correct answer. Okay, so let's say uh, if I choose, uh, uh, you know, let's say I choose this and then, uh, you know, final submit uh, this. coming to this section next oh add i think i have to add something it is mandatory i made it mandatory so let's say jpg is allowed so i uploaded this file so you can see this uh, file is being uploaded rate of birth is not mandatory okay now i can submit i think so i can submit it okay and you can, uh, the user or participant can view his score and his score is two of two, he's correct. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, it is showing that this answer is correct. Okay. You can, so this is, uh, I think uh, because of uh, time limitation, I, I also wanted a certain part. I, uh, you know, show you quickly, uh, it's already about to five. There is certain part, okay, undo is something which you don't want to, uh, you know, if you have done something, you can, uh, you know, uh, undo that work. You can make a copy of this form. You can delete it. This is most important. This is, you know, most, not most important, but one of the important uh, thing that I want to show that is get prefilled link. So if I click on this get prefilled link, so uh, this give me, you can see a prefilled responses, uh, then click get link. That means, uh, you know, I can fill, uh, for example, there are certain questions that you want to already, you know, uh, you, you want to show that a user should type like this. So, uh, for example, let's say in the name. So in the name, I just wanted uh, the participant to write the name with title. So I just write for them, so Dr. Sahil Patak. Let's say, okay. So, uh, and uh, if, in the below part, yeah, there is option get link. If I click over here and copy the link and now share this particular link uh, with the user. So let's say uh, with, with the student, you have shared this link. When they click on this link, this form will open. 
and it is asking for because i have enabled the uh, collect gmail address so it is asking for me to enter uh, you know uh, to enter with the gmail account so you can see uh, this uh, pre filled values are coming over here now the participant it get to know okay i i have to fill this particular field in this manner so he can simply delete this part and add his own name let's say sumit sharma okay. so this is what the pre filled uh, uh, you know uh, the significance of pre filling okay i hope it is clear to you all okay so coming back to this uh, section this is what the get prefilled link this is uh, you can print it you can add collaborator uh, in the similar fashion uh, like you have if you want to add collaborator you know more than uh, like we we have seen in the google doc so i am not explain it it again it is similar to that uh, you can share with uh, any other uh, you know participant any other teacher if you would like to okay so i am just simply omitting this part and uh, there is uh, this is the something important uh, you know uh, add ons uh, this is add on you if you want to uh, you know let's say uh, if you make a quiz and if you want to add some timer timer to that quiz so you can see uh, you know this again uh, the similar that i have already discussed in the google doc uh, if you click on add on that the g suite marketplace will open and there are uh, certain applications okay uh, which are available for uh, you know to uh, you can uh, you know uh, have work with the, your google form okay so this is the, there is one uh, yeah, form notification so this form notification will work like uh, whenever uh, any respondent uh, fill a form you will get a notification over email or to any email id what you provide if you want to make a quiz and you want to make a timed quiz you can uh, you know choose this uh, quill go or there are you know many other uh, uh, many other your uh, add ons which are uh, let's say uh, timeify okay so uh, you can see uh, this uh, in, you know you can these are these all are timer okay so you can add let's say you can add this and you can install this okay now in the is uh, you can simply close it now you can see this add on option is coming over here uh, you can click over here and go to this uh, timeify.me okay you can uh, click on configure and placed uh, you have to place the token okay so uh, you know uh, i i think uh, there is a time limit to show i mean ma'am uh, can i continue or uh, shall i take it sir it's going to be 5 5 i think okay so anyway uh, i'll uh, you know uh, put some video in the telegram group or something okay and uh, you know there you can uh, be benefited with this timer thing uh, because i you know i took uh, too much of time uh, already so i think but uh, you know there are this is not the one of the add on you can add uh, you know any uh, you know there are many many add ons that in, you can add okay and uh, the last part is uh, your script editor that i already mentioned in the google doc part also that if you are familiar with the java script kind of thing you can make code uh, you know you can add that script and uh, you know you so as of now for you guys uh, i'll simply uh, say that uh, please don't choose this okay until unless you are if you are uh, from technical background then definitely you can go through this okay so this is all and i rest my lecture over here and thank you very much for listening me uh, though I, i there are so many things that i wanted you to uh, you know uh, discuss in the google form but because of time limitation uh, 
i try to you know discuss most of the things so thank you thank you very much and thank you organizers for uh, you know be patient till 5 uh, we can uh, have the questions quickly yes uh, yeah uh, thank you so much uh, mr sai for such an insightful presentation there are few question i would like to present do we have to insert progress bar for the submitter while filling up the google form no it is not necessary actually but it is you know just a practice if you want to show a participant uh, that how how much progress he has done while filling the uh, you know google form but it, uh, you know to be very frank it is not mandatory okay we haven't given you the progress bar when you are uh, you know uh, giving a feedback because i have not made generally it is a practice when you are making more than one section you know if you have too many section so you wanted participant to you know you know because of uh, you know they should not be you know, they should be aware of that how much i have uh, done my work okay uh, second question can we share the separate sections of the form separately yes yes i have shown uh, already uh, you know sections uh, separately means separately means like uh, you are sh showing the all the section you know uh, when you are yeah, when you are creating uh, the google form uh, okay when you are designing your google form then all the section uh, are coming on the same page okay but uh, when you are showing the preview when when i am showing you the preview okay you can see there is uh, you know sections uh, only one section is coming at a time so this was the section 1 okay i think my mouse is also uh, not working properly okay so this is the section 1 and to move to the second next section i have to uh, you know uh, because i made this question uh, so if i suppose, click on no i guess this, i uh, they are asking like suppose there is a second section and mm -hmm. i don't wanted to show the section 1 or section 3 only i wanted to send the section 2 separately to the uh, form will it be possible no then i mean uh, it is logically incorrect uh, because you can make it uh, you i mean there is no segregation between section 1 and section 2 it is your naming convention you make okay. it section 1 okay 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 and can then uh, you, you can uh, you know you can do logical branch branching as per your need okay, okay. another question can a participant attach word file in response yes uh in response means that uh, like by, uh, that i have chose image and pdf so you can see that i have chosen the pdf in this add add file section no? yes 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 so it can it can be chosen because i have selected as of now uh, you know in the uh, uh, restricted mode i have given the uh, image file and pdf file only so uh, otherwise uh, whatever the uh, it is given over there i just simply show you quickly uh, so for example this is the add file and Uh, you know this is the document thing if you choose this document part okay then doc file will be uh, you know uh, he can uh, add the doc file uh, this is for ppt presentation this is excel file if you want uh, you know a user can upload so you can check all this if he uh, you know drawing and all things video audio okay so all these are options are available okay so depending on your need okay you you may check these options okay thank you how to send google form to many students at once just uh, yeah, okay i just forgot actually i think this is a send part okay and uh, you know there is this uh, email option uh, you can uh, write email address of all participants okay uh, to whom you want to share this form with and there is another option uh, which is this uh, link part okay you can short the, this link by clicking on this shorten url okay and then you can simply copy this link by uh, you know from copy here and uh, you know share this link with the uh, user probably in their whatsapp group or telegram group or whatsoever and there is the third option which is uh, embed html okay so uh, as of now you know because i have uh, uh, you know chosen this file upload uh, question in this uh, uh, particular form that is why there is embed uh, html option is not coming over here but if i uh, you know simply remove this let me show you quickly uh, let's say i remove this upload question let's i delete it okay and in this send option 
if I show you this embed thing, now you can see that uh, there is uh, this uh, certain embed HTML code. So I can copy this embed and wherever, or let's say you have your own website. For example, uh, in the Dr. Nikhil session, you have created your own website. So it was site.google.com. So let's say uh, I quickly show you that you, if you have your own uh, website or you have your own uh, blog, so you can embed uh, the code, HTML code with this, uh, with the help of this. So let's say this is your uh, your personal website and you want to put a course or you can put a quiz over here. So you can, uh, you create in Google form like this as we have created and then click on this embed option. And uh, here uh, you can embed either from URL or you can embed, uh, you can uh, use this embed code. So uh, I, I simply copied the uh, embed HTML code from here, okay, by clicking on this copy. So let's say any to your, any website, you can simply copy it and click on next at uh, insert. So you can see that over your Google site, uh, your personal uh, blog, wh wherever, okay, there is the embed option, you can embed uh, this form. And uh, over your website, uh, let's say I publish this website. Uh, let's say N1, uh, no, N12, okay, N12 is available. No, not available. N124, it is available. So let's say I, if I publish this website, Okay, so uh, if I publish this website, you can, uh, you know, uh, see uh, the, uh, you know, we publish site and you can see there is the option of uh, your Google form uh, that you have created. Okay, so uh, you can uh, do it in this manner. Okay, so this is what this embed, uh, these are, these all are the option uh, that you, you can share your Google form with the user. One is email, another is you can use link. Okay. Please, whenever you are providing link, please uh, don't forget to shorten the link. Okay. And third option is embed HTML code to your personal website, your blog, wherever you feel like so. Okay. So this is it from the send option. Okay. I think uh, uh, most of the things we have covered. Uh, yes. Uh, if anything is left, please ask me, ma'am. Uh, yes, uh, there are a few more queries. How much time can you give uh, if, if I ask? It's already yeah. said five ten. Yes. So, uh, if anything is left, we can uh, you know uh, you, you please can you can put in the discussion forum also. I can take one or two questions quickly. Okay, okay. Let's take it from the Google Drive. So, is Google Drive storage is fully confidential? Yes, it is confidential. Don't worry at all about it. Buying storage okay. means pay but for it. The thing is, uh, you have to be you know it should be part password. Uh, you you do not share your password. Otherwise, it is not uh, confidential. Okay, because Google is a trusted company and uh, uh, it do not uh, actually personally involve with your uh, data. Okay. okay. Uh, what are the options when the Google account shows that 95% of the space is used? Hmm. What are the options? Okay, so I'll show you, uh, let's say in my uh, account, uh, you know, this is my, uh, I'll show you this account. This is my private account and you can see 12.7 uh, GB of 15 GB is used. So you can buy a storage, either buy a storage, you can give uh, some money to Google. Okay, so we can, you have the buy option from here. And uh, another thing is you can simply either create another Gmail ID and you again have a, a 15 GB option free. Okay. Or uh, the third thing is you can simply, you know, arrange your drive and delete all those, uh, you know, material which, uh, which is not uh, used. Okay. So uh, you can see uh, this storage is not only the drive, uh, 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 you know, only the uh, storage of drive, but uh, it, it is the storage of your emails also. So let's say generally, you know, we have, let's say you can see there are 18,000 emails. Okay. So I have to be, you know, uh, either uh, uh, clear all those emails. So you can see your storage is shared across a Google Drive, Gmail, and Google Photos. So you can clear, uh, either clear from there, okay, any of three, uh, and uh, you can reduce your, uh, you know, you can increase your space, the remaining space. Or otherwise, you, you can buy. And more question. 
Okay. Is there any option of integrating two Google accounts in order to have the space? In no, 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 no. There is, you know, every Google account is an individual identity. Okay. You can, you have an option to add uh, your Google account uh, here, you know, to simultaneously open. Okay. Add another Google account. But there is no option that you can merge two Google account and uh, make your Google Drive, you know, as, as a single uh, entity. So that would be, you know, two different 15 GB space for you. Thank you. Suppose I have two Gmail accounts and I want to copy a folder from one drive to another. How to do that? Please, uh, pardon? Suppose I have two Gmail accounts yes. and I want to copy a folder mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. one drive to another. Mm -hmm. Means one drive. If we have two Gmail accounts and one data is saved in one Gmail account and another uh -huh. is in, and I wanted to copy from so, this one. Uh, you yeah. can you, you can simply uh, share with another Gmail account. Okay. Let's say you want to move this uh, to, you know, this move to option will give you, you know, move in between this drive only. But if you want to, uh, you know, if there is another Gmail account, that is nothing but a sharing. Whether you are sharing with, uh, you know, other people or whether you are sharing with uh, yourself, uh, you know, it treats you a different entity. If, uh, you know, it, actually, uh, if you have two uh, accounts, doesn't matter. It, it takes uh, your, uh, you know, account uniquely. So if you either share with anyone else, you have to share, or if you have your different Gmail account, then also you have to share that particular document uh, with that particular Gmail. Okay. I hope it is clear. Uh, I mean, what I'm uh, trying to say. That yeah. means if you ha even if you have uh, your own uh, personal Gmail, more than one Gmail account, the, the Google will treat you as uh, two different accounts only. So if you want to uh, share a document between more than one account, okay. So uh, there is only way of sharing it. So that Google provides you, uh, you can share it or otherwise you can download it and upload it there. Okay, that, that option is also available. One last question. Yes. Buying storage means we need to pay for it. Yes, exactly. You have to pay them. So I won't uh, recommend that, uh, you know, there is no need because there are so many free things available. So you have to uh, take the free things. So even if uh, you have, uh, let's say if I have, uh, you know, space, my space is filled. Okay. And this is my primer, prime account because, uh, you know, maximum uh, users, maximum people have, you know, I shared this account uh, uh, with maximum people. So I don't want to change this account. So I can, what I can do, I can shift these document to a, uh, you know, a different uh, email account then. Okay. So that uh, this space will remain, uh, you know, empty. Okay. So, uh, and uh, I can, you know, uh, as I already said, I can, uh, you know, delete certain useless emails from there. I have to give some time. Okay. So these are the options. Thank you so much, Sahil, for such an informative session and clearing our doubts. Now I over to Ms. Ashima Hasti for vote of thanks. Thank you, Nidhi. Am I audible? Yes, yes you are audible. Okay. Uh, I, on behalf of Mata Sundari College for Women, and on my own behalf, express very sincere thanks to the speaker of today's live session, Mr. Sahil Patak, for sparing his valuable time and for giving an excellent coverage on the topic of Google Form and Google Drive. We all have benefited from it. Thank you, sir. I would like to take this opportunity to place on record my hearty thanks to Professor Harpreet Kaur, Principal, Mata Sundari College for Women, and Dr. S. P. Sabawal, Principal, Ramanujam College, for envisioning this faculty development program. I'm also grateful to Dr. Kiranjit Sethi, the Chief Coordinator of the event, for the support and guidance she has extended to all of us throughout the preparation and execution of this FTP. I also extend my thanks to the organizing committee that includes my colleagues of the Department of Computer Science and also the team of Ramanujan College for their enormous support and perfect coordination. I thank them for their involvement and their willingness to take on the completion of the tasks beyond their comfort zones. I offer my special thanks to Mrs. Sangeeta Pathak for being our technical backbone for the event. And last but not the least, I thank 
all the participants for showing their keen interest in this program and completing all the daily assignments and quizzes as per the deadlines mentioned. Once again, thank you very much, everybody. We look forward to see you tomorrow at the same time, that is 3 p.m. afternoon. Tomorrow's schedule will be shared on the Telegram group. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Ashima. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you.